timer blocks are the cornerstone of any engineer's toolkit. Let's start, for example, with the two types of timer block activation, trigger now and start. When using trigger now, it actually bypasses the delay. So if we use trigger now by putting it onto the hop bar and selecting specifically trigger now, what's gonna happen is when I click it, it's going to instantly activate the turn. Now starts just a little bit different. We're still gonna add it to the hot bar here. Select specifically start. Now what's gonna happen is, is after I press this button, it's going to activate the timer block and after five seconds, cause the delay set to five, it's going to activate the warheads and instantly detonate. Holy crap. Timer blocks activate what's on the hotbar, starting from the left and working its way to the right, in order from 1st to ninth. From this example, you can see that the activation is immediate. Once we press this button, all three activate seemingly at the exact same time. However, the left, then the middle, then the right activates. From this example, we can actually see how timer blocks can be used to repeat an action. One timer block actually is set up to open the door, and one is set up to close the door. They're also set up to activate each other, but not just trigger now, it's set to start, meaning that they repeat indefinitely until you say stop. All right, guys, that'll be it for this episode. I hope you guys learned just a little bit more about timer blocks. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.